Alright, alright, alright. Welcome back to Late Nights with All Access with myself, Mike Anthony. Right next to me, Miss Nat Boogie. What's up, guys? Miss Nat Boogie. Hey. We are on episode number 75. That's crazy, dude. 70 fucking five. 75. So and crazy. tonight we're going to be giving away $100. Man. $100. Just give it to me. Give it to ah. you. <laughs> $100. So make sure to like, comment below, tag three of your friends, share this video. As you can see, I have the tickets right here. We're going to enter your names into the drawing. And by the second part, we're going to go ahead and do the drawing and see who wins $100. Now, you have to watch the whole entire show so that your name gets called and you're live with us. And then you'll get to receive the prize nice a hundred dollars so still yes it's yes 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 i know a lot of people could use a hundred dollars right now too i know so. i could use a hundred dollars shit i might rig it <laughs> whoever wins a hundred dollars where are you taking me to eat send me some a little some some so there's a lot of things happening all over san antonio and all around the world um there's a lot of things that happened from this past weekend to you know this whole past week in general, and it just seems like there's just a lot of things going on, mm -hmm. you know, it, and there's so many topics. So, but one of the main things I wanted to uh, share right now uh, before we get into the weekends is let people know that uh, Freddie uh, Garza passed away with the COVID-19. He had a incredible tribute that was dedicated to him, and they are still raising money uh, for the family and for him. So they do have a benefit that's uh, happening on Wednesday, and if anyone is interested, please uh, go to the uh, event on Wednesday, and it is going to be a bar a Backwoods Barbecue and Tacos. The phone number is 210-643-4876, and there's different uh, menu, there's different food items on the menu. So Mini tacos, quesadillas, and chopped barbecue. Dude, this looks amazing. The food looks good. It looks so good. So there's more details. Uh, again, if you just go call that number and you can ask. And again, it is for Freddy Garza. Uh, he passed away for the co uh, due to the COVID-19. His family has reached out to us mm -hmm. and... I, I, I know that they, they touched on that there was a joke that I guess he, he made about the COVID-19 mm -hmm. and that it was getting somewhat of a backlash. I guess there was and a joke and it somewhat went viral or yeah. something and then he ended up passing away from it. So yeah. I guess some people had some stuff to say about it. Um, I don't get too involved in that kind of yeah. stuff. So I don't I didn't see what people were saying. I just saw people talking about it. Um but I I do want to um pay my respects to his family and to all his friends. And a lot of my friends are were good friends with them and I could see how it really impacted everybody and he touched a lot of people's lives. Um so I do want to pay my respects especially to his family members that have reached out to us yes. for um, you know, for showing him some love on the show last week and, and tonight. And a uh, big shout out to Jesse again and to Ray for doing the Phoenix Virtual Lounge. I know they did their thing um, on Saturday and for proceeds to go to him. So they did the tribute there. So um, big shout out to y'all for doing that. Yes. And, and, and another thing, too, on that is that one of the clear the air is that even, even if it was, uh, if some people took it, uh, the wrong way him joking around he was overall just a energetic human being he was always positive he was always fun i didn't know him on a personal level and we talked about this pre prior mm. i didn't have his personal number i didn't like talk to him on a day-to-day -day base but when he was around he was just all nothing but positive mm -hmm. so i just want to let everyone know that if that was something that you took uh, to heart, know that he's just a really nice stand-up guy, in, in, in my opinion, in, in my in my views. Yeah, so. I, I, I wasn't um, close with him like a lot of people were, a lot of my friends were. Um, I hadn't met him before, and when I would see him out, you know, we'd, we'd say hi to each other, but... Um, I'm, I'm not going to act like we are best friends or anything like that, but just seeing how many people he really um, yeah, he, impacted and touched their lives, you know, a lot of my, a lot of people that I am cool, really cool with, um, seeing how, how much they were impacted by his unfortunate death, uh, it made me really, really, really feel for them. So 
sad to see that happen but i mean unfortunately the, it's it's a reality of the world that we live in right now i feel like i wake up every day and there's another death and then another death and then mm-hmm. you know someone else is positive and and even it's not even just covid right now it's it's uh, just death period is a thing i know um uh naya rubetta i feel like is that her name did i get it right uh, from glee yeah yeah, she passed away and her body was found, right? This, yeah, this Naira, past... yeah, Naira Rivera, I did say it right. Um, yeah, so, and it's a sad story. Like, I, so I was up super late Wednesday night, and it was like 1 a.m. They announced it that she had gone missing at the lake. Uh-huh. And so I was up super late, and I saw the announcement. Well, they didn't find her body till today. So this was announced like Wednesday night at like 1 a.m. our time or so. They didn't find her body till today, um, but she had drowned at the lake, and she but she saved her four year old son and was able to get him back onto the boat. So wow, it's so sad. Just that, and then John Travolta's wife passed yeah, away, right? Breast cancer. Um, she was battling it, and she passed away. And it's then heartbreaking. Someone else. Um, Lisa Presley's or someone's oh, son, son committed suicide. It's just so much death these days, and it's so sad to like wake up every day. Oh, I want to um, my condolences to um, for Haley for Haley Faith. Um, I don't personally know her dad, but I have him on Facebook, and I followed him for a long time. Um, Brandon, I want to say last name is Gray. DJ Mr. B. I, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, I did see that his eight-year-old daughter, uh, she was battling a disease, a rare disease, and I had been following on Facebook for the past. She was in the hospital for like probably the past year or so, um, and she pa- unfortunately passed away over the weekend too. So I do want to pay my respects and um, give my condolences to if anyone knows uh, Brandon, if you want to let him know that I paid my respects to that because that is hard, especially when they're your child, like eight years old, little girl. That's yeah, so sad. You know, when I when I think of a parent having to put down their, their children, that it's heartbreaking. And it always makes me think of that one scene of, of uh, John Q. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that movie with Denzel Washington. When they're in the and, hospital? Yeah, and in the hospital. Yeah. And, and he uh, kind of, he puts every, he puts the hospital as a hostage. And he's out there talking to the cops. He's like, I am not going to bury my son. My yeah. son's going to bury me. That was like the best scene. But I felt that, you know, and, and, and it's it's heartbreaking to know that there's parents out there that have to put their kids, you know, to rest. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's just sad all around. Um, Laura said today is the anniversary of Corey Monteith, who was also on Glee. Wow, that's crazy. I remember when he passed away. Um, I'm not sure how many years ago, but oh, wow. he was on Glee, and then Naya Rivera passed away, I guess. Is Did they say how she passed away? Because I, I didn't really I think get it. it was drowning. Oh, was it? Is what it mm. seemed like. They were saying she was basically struggling in the water, and she gathered up enough strength to save her son and to lift him onto the boat, but she wasn't able to get up herself. Oh, wow. So they found her body in the lake today. So is... Very, very sad. Just Death is just kind of becoming a regular thing these days. I feel like every day we wake up to it, and you know, us as humans, um, it, it's hard to constantly you know, deal with that and everything else that's going on in the world. So... Um, just prayers out to everybody dealing with, you know, either some kind of death or sickness or illness or something going on right now, whether it's you, your family, um, my prayers out to you. Um, you know, all we can do is live a day at a time these days. I feel like it's, it's a lot, it's a lot going on. It is. And, and, you know, it seems like with the COVID-19, it's spiking again. And Mm -hmm. the, it seems like Texas is about to shut down. It looks like it because of other states wanting to shut down. California shut down. I saw Kelly shut down again so, today. How was it how was it this weekend though? Like you were able to you know, mm-hmm. go out and about. So how was how was your weekend? What what, what did you get into? So yeah, so I, I was to the point to where I had to get out of the house. I mean I work from home and I had been at home. I quarantined it's a for blessing. a month. Hmm. <laughs> It is, but then it's also kind of a curse when you have to work at home, stay at home at nighttime, stay home on the weekend. Like, you kind of start going crazy a little bit, and I feel like that was kind of happening with me. So, um, you know, we quarantined for a month. We wanted to make sure everyone was safe. Everyone got their test results back. Everyone was negative. We were good. We were like, okay, going to step out. Of course, masks on. Um, So, stepped out on Friday. um, Stop by Perfect Score just for a bit. not my favorite place, but you know, this the, the the friends that were there showed me some hospitality. So it stopped there. Went to go um, show some love to D one at El Tipico on Friday. I hadn't been there in forever. Oh yeah, yeah. How was yeah. that? It Shout was out cool. to Hoffman. 
Shout out to Hoffman. Um, and I liked it because it wasn't too packed, like at all. Like there was plenty of space, plenty of social distancing. We were on our own little, our own little section by the DJ booth. Um, so we went to go show some love to them. Um, Saturday, Joshua and I took a splinter out. We went by elsewhere. We saw Taryn post that it was B. I'm not sure if something had happened, but it's BYOB right now. Yeah. Um, so we went to go check out elsewhere and and, and uh, get our, our puppy out of the house because he he needed to get that out too. <laughs> but it was cool because they were having um, splinter, right? Splinter, yes. There you go. They were having some adoption event, which I thought was really cool. So we were like, oh, he wants to go see the dogs. Um, me and him were the only ones there at first, honestly. We were like, man, we could throw our own private party here and just take <laughs> over the place. So we were there by ourselves, took some beer and hung out. And um, some people started gradually coming as, it, you know, it got a little later and cooled a little down or cooled down a little more. Uh-huh. Um, but then the adoption people came. Some more people came, I guess, to adopt puppies. So we sat there and watched people, like, adopt puppies. It was really, really Aww. cute. Yeah, it was so cute to watch. Um, but Did yeah, I get a new addition no, to the family? No, Splinter is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Splinter is enough. So um, that was cool to watch, though. Um, um, it wasn't crazy packed or anything. So we did a lot of, we were out, but we did a lot of social distancing. Uh-huh. Um, and then yesterday we went by chicken and pickle. And how so, was it? How was chicken and pickle? It was cool. We were, cause we had our puppies. So we were the only ones like that were outside. We hit the rooftop where there was some shade and fans and stuff. Uh-huh. We were literally the only ones outside. People were inside. And then as we were there a little longer, some people showed up and met up and stuff like that. Um, everyone in their masks, of course. So, and I like to see that the people that I'm out with are actually taking it serious so they're where they're actually out there wearing their masks. Nobody's having to like talk shit or judge them or like nothing's happening. It's like they're not even like going against it. Like they're out there wearing their masks as we're hanging out and stuff. So I thought that was really cool to see. But and then we stopped by Hops and Hounds just for the last hour last night just to let him play with some other dogs because he needed to get out. Yeah, he loves Hops and Hounds. Um so that was it. That was my weekend I actually got to get out for the first time in probably a month and a half or two and mm-hmm. probably the last time for a while because i feel like we're and you saw the fight though right shut down again yeah we watched the fight the ufc fight mm-hmm. yeah after elsewhere we went home to watch the fight um holloway got robbed i saw I that think fight. holloway i think holloway should i was eating my sonic burger while i was watching that i, I a, saw your picture i was like man i used to work had at a, sonic. had a double cheese bacon burger with the chili and a, a foot long yeah chili cheese coney and then a large uh, milkshake, uh, cookie and creams, and some fries. Mm, that was like a little snack. I was still hungry after that. I was like, man, you were still hungry after that. Yeah, I was still hungry. <laughs> like, I'm a, I, I call myself a skinny fat guy, so I love to eat, and it's just so crazy. But I did watch the fight this weekend. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Worked home, and did watch the fight though. Mm-hmm. I did, and that that was a, a very interesting fight. Um, I felt the like the Holloway one or the Masvidal Usman. The main fight, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not even gonna the try to stomping. pronounce the pronounce their names. Masvidal huh? and Masvidal Usman. And Usman. I believe some of the only book. And it, it was a. Uh, I'm not a big uh, UFC uh, fan. I watch it, but not to the point to where it's like something that I watch every fight or anything like that. I think mm-hmm. it's a good sport. I I, I love it. And I think it's more aggressive than boxing Mm because boxing is more technique. Mm -hmm. And I felt like people that don't like Mayweather, I could see why they wouldn't like, um, how do you say his name, Guzman? Mm -hmm. Because he seemed like he was a technical fighter. Like, he fought the smart fight. He didn't go out there, I guess, how he, I don't know. Like, I felt like he... When I, every time I was watching each round, I was like, man, he's like, he reminds me of Mayweather. Yeah, there was a lot of toe stomping going on. Yeah, I don't I didn't, know I, I've that's never a, seen any. I've I'm never seen a, any fighters do that before. Apparently, that's a thing that some do. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a UFC fucking professional. I heard that that, that, I don't that know you get points for it. that. So I'm not sure if you that's true. You get points true. for toe stomping. Yeah, like there's some type of points. You know how like when you hit, you get points. I guess no idea. I don't know either, but all I know is that the fight overall for me. As a, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, as someone that, I, I like sports, don't get me wrong. I love uh, combat sports. I love it. I just felt like that was just not as entertaining as most fights that I've seen with UFC. Mm-hmm. It is probably one of the, you one, say that it was boring. Yeah, it was boring. Yeah. It, it, it was a boring fight to me uh, compared to all the fights I've ever seen. And I've seen a lot of them. So it just, I wanted to see more action. I did. 
Yeah, no, I, I feel you. I don't, I don't know much about it. Daniel said he's a wrestler that can knock people out. He definitely looked like he can knock some people out. So, um, yeah, so that was interesting to watch. Um, and people are saying that, that uh, the guy that took the fight, it was six days before, but mm-hmm. his training crew actually mentioned in, on a press conference that he was already prepared for the fight. So even though he took six days prior, their, the, his training camp was saying that they were already prepared to fight him if it was going to happen. So uh, I don't know yeah. what or what not. What are y'all thoughts? Did y'all like the fight? Did you think it was entertaining? Was it boring? Did you expect that kind of fight or did you expect more combat? You know, for me, it was boring. Not to discredit the art of UFC. I love UFC. I think it's great. Just that fight in particular was just boring to me. Yeah, uh, lovely Larray said the fight was boring. <laughs> Enrico said he knew what he had to do to win. Are we still taking entries for the giveaway tonight? Tell them what they need. The to giveaway, do for the yes. Giveaway. So for if you're just tuning in right now, welcome, of course. Uh, your name will be get entered into the drawing. We're giving away a hundred dollars tonight. So all you have to do is like this post, this feed, and comment below. Tag three of your friends and share the video. And just wait until we do the drawing, but your names will be entered. So continue to like, continue to share, continue to tag your friends. We're giving away $100 tonight nice. to someone. So Priscilla, your name is entered. <clears throat> You're seeing us talk as well, and I'm writing down everyone's names. So good luck. You have a chance to win $100, people. Also, just to give a, a quick shout-out, we do have... Uh, some t- uh, sweets in front of us, and I was about to get to that. Go ahead. Shout Miss out Nat to Boogie. Miss Alexis. Alexis, I saw you were watching a minute ago. If you want to, if you're still watching, if you want to throw in the comments really quick where they can um, get your strawberries. So, um, if you know Alexis Isabella, she was on the show. What was it like? End of last year or so. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, but she makes these amazing strawberries. It's Isabella's Sweet, Sweet Treats is the Facebook page. But they are, can you see them? They are, they look so, so good. And she's been like at it too. Like I've seen so many people ordering from her. She's like, I'm busy with all these orders. She has bouquets she's making of strawberries. These look amazing. So I'm definitely going to try some out here in a bit. Are you trying to open it? Yeah, I'm trying to open it. <laughs> I guess I can't do it. I'll do it in the second part. Yeah, we'll try them in the second part for sure. I don't want to leave them sitting open, but they look amazing. So um, definitely hit her up. It's Isabella's Sweet Treats is the Facebook page. So hit her up. If you want some ordered, um, she can definitely make some for you. And they're they're handmade, guys. They are not, it's not like she picks them up and goes somewhere and drops them off. Like these are handmade and they look amazing. So we'll definitely try some of those in the second half. So thank you, Alexis. Appreciate you. Yes, thank you. I love sweets. I have to have one sweet per day, per night. <laughs> Usually it's a midnight snack for me oh yeah yeah we're aware so if you have them on facebook you're aware (laughs) (laughs) that is true um really quick i want to give a shout out to i don't see here he is um i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing this right jos rom he said can you guys say thank you to the delivery people who deliver packages every day Mm -hmm. thank you thank you so much because you are on I don't know if I want to say the front line, somewhat of the front line. Um, but you definitely are out there putting in some work, especially in this heat right now. Yo, it's hot as fuck outside. It it's was so disrespectful. It was 106 degrees, I think, today, or 108 at we the peak. broke a record today. It was the hottest that it's been since the 1800s. Is what was I it saw. 108 or was I it harder than that? I saw 107. I saw 107. Someone earlier told me that they saw their thing said 113. I was like, Why? <sighs> Crazy. Why is that necessary? That is crazy. All I know is that if you don't have any AC in your home, if you don't have any AC at your work, call Alamo King AC. Their number is 210-455-8400. That is a shameless plug right there. Alamo, a- uh, Alamo King AC, those are your guys to contact to make sure that you stay cool all summer long. So now, yes, the, but going back to the delivery people, that, that, yes, they, man, this heat, could you do that right now? No, there's no way. I go out to walk, I go out to walk Splinter and him and I are both dying <laughs> after, <laughs> after like 10 minutes. It's like, okay, let's go back inside. I, I heard it's so hot. What's going on, Javier? Put, um, cookies on a baking sheet. 
I saw someone try that on the What's car going on, and the, and the dash, right? I saw I saw a DJ picture Zest. of that. Someone was baking cookies on the dash of their car. That's how hot it was. <laughs> That There's that crazy. meme that's going around. It's like, um, I think it said, like, God, whatever you're cooking outside, it's done. <laughs> or I think it's done. It says something like that. I see that one every year. But, yeah, it is ridiculously hot out there. Um, also, shout out to Daniel. Congratulations on registering your name, your business name. That is a big step, my friend. Congratulations on that. Your name was entered in the drawing, too, as well. Again, everyone that's uh, commenting and sharing and liking the post we are entering your name tonight for a hundred dollars a hundred dollars cannot go wrong with that do and i get entered in this too or how does this work i'm just kidding i'm not gonna take a hundred dollars <laughs> oh and if you need some window tint guys holla at my boy daniel macias it's tint life sa but his facebook is daniel macias he's actually yeah daniel right does now, so tint him. he's doing his own tint we I have think I saw someone else. Carl here that right now, is, uh, Carl. he said he does tent too as well. I think you two guys should uh, collaborate on some work. Um, Carl's been doing tent for years. It's always good to collaborate with people in the same industry, I think. You know, you can, like for me, for example, I'm going to just share this. Uh, having limos and party buses, if mm -hmm. I'm booked for a weekend, I'll call someone else that has limos and party mm -hmm. buses and like, hey, my client, I can't do it. Can y'all do it? And they, like, we just piggyback off each other. Do you still get some so. kind of percentage for like the mm -hmm. referral? Yeah. That's cool. So like that. it, we, we either do it to where where the client thinks like it's coming from us and I trust someone so well mm -hmm. to where they don't even worry about it. I just pay them like for a small fee and then we're good. And then same mm -hmm. thing with us. If, if we have something available and they're booked, you know, so cross promoting like with cool. people in your same industry is always good. Very cool. Yes, guys. Thank you, everyone that's commenting, saying that you're sharing and tagging. Um, I guess uh, Enrico said if you're trying to tag someone, you can't do it in the actual live. But if you go to the post and the comments below, you can tag your people there. And then I think it'll actually pop up on, on our comments in here. So um, There are some other some big things this weekend that happened. And one of the biggest stories um, that I wanted to share, but there's a lot of things that actually happened this weekend. Um Get in real quick with Vanessa Guillen. She had a, a tribute here in San Antonio, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. And I saw a lot of pictures, saw a lot of videos on there. So she had one here, and she also had a big one in Austin. Uh -huh. um, I saw a lot of people show up to the one in Austin as well. So shout out to the Scoremore family. I know they did a lot of stuff with the Austin one. Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone. And, and here too, I just I saw so many people showed up. I was watching one of someone's lives and it was just an, a crazy amount of people. So shout out to everyone showing um, their respects. And then Ricardo reached out to me earlier as well. He asked me to um, shout out uh, Gregory Morales. So apparently there was another soldier, Gregory, Gregory Morales from Fort Hood as well. And his remains were found um, by Vanessa's. Oh, and wow. so his mom is trying to get some answers now, too, as to what happened to him. And some people are saying that they think that they were connected because they were both soldiers from there. They both had the same rank. They both were reported as being AWOL. They both were found, like, in the same area. Both had same, like, the shallow graves and stuff like that. Um, so they're thinking that it could have been kind of connected. So I um, wanted to sh show some love for Gregory Morales as well. So thank you, Ricardo, for reaching out to me and letting me know. Um, about him as well because you know the media is not shedding yeah. light on some things obviously there's a lot of things that the media doesn't share light on they kind of pick and choose so um, that was a name that got brought up to me earlier and it's kind of the same situation with Vanessa so prayers out to him and his yes, family prayers. as well um, Angie, first of all, I just want to shout out some people. We have a lot of people tuning in. Um, shout out to Zez, shout out to Javier, Daniel, Enrico, uh, Cheryl, Esme, she just got on. Esme, what's, what's up, going on, girl? Esme, please share. Ron C, lovely Larray, Azalea Avery, Carl, what's share up, Priscilla, this. hey Bianca, what's up, Norm? $100, people, $100. A lot of people tuning in, so thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Um, once again, we are giving away $100, so if you're just tuning in right now, all you have to do is... Like, comment below, tag three of your friends, and share this video. $100 is going to be given away today because this is episode number 75. We appreciate the love and support uh, for tuning in with us every Monday night. It's every just amazing. Monday night, 75 episodes. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe it's been 75 episodes. We're 25 away from 100. 25 away that from 100. That is fucking crazy. That is amazing. 
It's amazing um, what you can do and stay consistent. Uh, again, our purpose of having the live stream is to showcase uh, the entertainment of San Antonio when it comes to events, when it comes to parties, when it comes to restaurants, bars, lounges, clubs, anything in a positive note. We're not the media that shares the bad stories, but shares the light of the good things. Also, uh, to share current events that are happening around the world, you know, to mm-hmm. really talk about some real issues. Some real and, shit going on. And one of the, the one of the biggest topics, I think, this whole weekend was the Red Table with Jada oh, Pekin God. Smith and Will Smith. So what? Yeah, We're gonna go get to that no, yeah, one second. Ahead, Let me ahead, just do ahead, a couple. Because yeah, yeah. before yeah, yeah, yeah. I before I lose them, before <laughs> I lose them, um, Angie said shout out to SA Food Bank because that, that's gonna be a whole conversation we're about to have. Um, Angie says shout out to SA Food Bank. I'm hosting a birthday food drive right now till August. Lots of people relying on them. Yes, the San Antonio Food Bank guys. Please, if you can volunteer, if you can donate, anything helps because we know a lot of families are going to need help with that, especially with that additional. We can talk about that too. That additional six hundred dollars that's about to go away from um, unemployment. Uh, Jessica said, dare to dream big custom creations, custom HD. Oh, thank you, Jessica. She said, you guys make Mondays better. Oh, I love that. Thank you. And just to let y'all know, too, we're still looking for a third uh, uh, co-host. Yes. So if you have any recommendations on someone that wants to come live with us every Monday night, we are still looking for someone to fill in that spot. Mm Mm-hmm. So yep, it could sure. be a male, it could be female. So if you're interested in wanting to join the team of Late Nights with All Access, make sure to inbox message us, or you can text us, or you could private message us both. Slide in those DMs, baby. Um, Resk, I mean Resk, <laughs> Zesk over here did say prayers to his friend. I did <laughs> uh, give him a shout out a little earlier in the show, Zesk, um, prayer, but I will do it again since more people are watching. Um, prayers to DJ Mr. B, to Brandon, um, his daughter, eight-year-old daughter, Haley Faith, lost her battle this weekend or over the weekend to a disease that she's been battling um, for some time now. So my condolences and my respects to to you. Um, sorry <laughs> As to me. Be doing that. I love Mike Anthony's grandma on his Insta. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. And my grandma, my grandma's funny. She speaks the truth, and she's bold too. Esme, just come do it at, already. Or how about we just have at least Esme once a month? Esme, can you do Esme once a, once a month? How about that? Or Esme, you could be part of the team. It's we up to you. To. It's up come to you, through, Esme. Girl. But yeah, just uh, uh, let us know. But we are going to take a quick break. Again, this is episode number 75. Thank you to Isabel Sweets Treats. We're going to try her strawberries uh, soon. And we're going to take a quick break. Again, this is a $100 giveaway. Your name could be entered tonight. You have to watch until the end of the show when we do the drawing. It's a $100 giveaway tonight. And continue to like, comment, and share. And we'll be right back with you guys. Slap your mama! Pop Cristo's got the best motherfucking gyros, gyros. You ever f***ing ate your life so good? Take one lick, lick tip. You got to have Peter's. Peter's! Pop Cristo Peter's! They got everything. I'm going to just give you a rundown of some of my favorites. They got tzatziki. Octopod oh, hold on. Octopod tequila. Well, uh, whatever, but it's good. I, I will, <laughs> I will I mono soup. And they got wine too. I'm telling you, come on down to Papa Cristo. You can't even pronounce the food, it's so damn good. Show them what you're working with, Papa. Show them how you do it. Hey, yeah, Papa, hey, where are you? Papa Cristo, are you here? Papa, Papa, Papa Cristo, are you here? Come on down to Papa Cristo, 2771 West Boulevard Pico. Or you can call right now and get it delivered. Papa Cristo, ooh, make you want to do the thing. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh, aka TP. Hey, what's up? It's Nat Boogie. Hey, what's up? It's Demon. Hey, what's up, San Antonio? It's your boy Jake. Hey, what's up? It's JT. And we are the nice side. I know we're known for going out and partying, but it's time to slow down and take things more serious. Do your part by getting tested practicing social distancing and staying home when you can if you must go out wear your masks sanitize practice social distancing too many people we know are testing positive so it's time we do our part to protect ourselves 
and our loved ones. Stay safe, San Antonio, and we'll see you soon. Stay safe, San Antonio. We'll see you soon. Stay safe, San Antonio. We'll see you soon. We will be back soon. Stay safe, San Antonio, and we'll see you soon. All right, you had saw a commercial with Ja Rule, man. He's into. I can't take that. I can't take that yeah, I can't either. <laughs> he he's a. I guess I'm assuming that's for a reality show, and they had to do a like a promo for a restaurant and he, from their home, and so he decided to do that, which. I think 50 Cent made fun of him for it. And he's like, this is what happens when you go against me. <laughs> or some shit like that. 50 means no... Like, he plays no games. He gives no fucks. Yeah. You know, we talk about 50 Cent. He uh, he won't he won't go against T.I. He doesn't he, mm-hmm. he doesn't respond to it. I think he should go do do it. I think he would win if it goes from, from hits. You know, I think he has more hits that are mainstream. Yeah. Popular. I would like to see it. I would like to see it too. I can't say who I think would win, but I would like to see that. Richard mm. said 50 would ruin him. Or ruin, oh, I think he's talking about Ruin him, you're talking about Jaro. Ja yeah. And then we had a good uh, message, of course, from our good friends with Midnight Society. Yeah, yeah, Stay yeah. Stay safe, San Antonio. Wear your masks. So what are we doing now? We're trying to strawberry or what? So they look what amazing. we have the, yeah, right in front of so us, can see. we have the delicious, they look very delicious, Strawberries, covered chocolate strawberries. Ooh, look at that! They look they so, look so good. good and so, so go pretty. ahead and pick one, that boogie. I don't know what I want to eat. And take a bite. Let's see. I think I want. Cause this is your first time tasting them, right? Yeah. And this is gonna be my first time tasting them too. So I'm gonna I think have I want one of these. One of these. I'm gonna get this one. I want this one. That boogie's getting that one. Yep. All right. This thing's. Never mind. I was gonna sound. I was gonna sound. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I'm gonna. It was gonna sound it. inappropriate. Mmm. 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 You just have to do the sound effects, Stephen. Goodness. Now this is good. Oh my god. This is really good. No lies. That is amazing. It, like mm. melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You definitely have to Y'all reach need out to her. In your life for sure. Make sure to go to her Facebook page, Isabel's Sweet Treats, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can inbox message her. She has some really good pricing. And right now, for our first time trying it, it's yeah, really good. Yeah, these are so good. So, so good. Mm-hmm. Any guys that are trying to date me, this is the way to my heart. Give me some chocolate covered strawberries because I need some in my life or some more in my life. These are, what kind did you get? I don't know. Is it like nuts on there, chocolate chips? These ones have glitter on them. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you get glitter on strawberries? They're so pretty. I don't even want to mess them up. They're really, really, really good, guys. So definitely hit her up. Isabella's, Isabella Street. <clears throat> Isabella's sweet treats. Mm-hmm. Say that t- <laughs> five times. <laughs> no, <fast>. right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're really, really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you again. Yes, thank you, girl. Those are so good. Oh my god. They are. Now we have chocolate teeth. <laughs> Daniel said, "I just want to join the show for the free food." <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's truth, real. Sorry, facts. guys. They're so good. They Sorry, are. Y'all good. have to. They're like watching us, like lick our lips and shit. <laughs> Laura said, does that count as your midnight snack? Yes, this is my midnight snack. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I think I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal. Captain Crunch tonight. <laughs> I'm going to lie. Richard said white chocolate was his nickname in high school. That was my nickname, too. Was it really? Yeah. And Money Mike and all these other nicknames. Priscilla said, edible glitter <laughs> is fun to eat and use. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like it. That's for a part two for... Oh, they're sugar berries. Those are sugar berries. Kids love them. Oh, okay. So it's sugar. It's sugar berries. Oh, okay. It just like shines in the light so it looks like glitter. Nice. Nice. Well, well you took... fun you, with those. Yeah, you took a, a, a lot of time on that. You yeah, can tell. Yeah, for sure. The decoration. 
But overall, the taste is delicious. It's so good, and they're fresh, and it's just yeah. I want it. I want it. Literally eat more. melts in your mouth. I know. I want to eat more, but like I have to talk, so I don't want y'all just watch us like yeah. scarf down strawberries know, the right? whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, so going, going right back into the comments, we had someone mention the word that... Entanglement. Entanglement. The word of the night and the weekend. Yes, entanglement. Entangle- Have you ever heard the word entanglement be used in your life? No. <laughs> Will Smith's face was like, Jada. A what? <laughs> A what? A relationship? <laughs> entanglement. Was that her way of trying to make it seem like it wasn't as serious or I was a little confused? Now, viewers, if you haven't watched it, I hope you have. Go to the Red Table, like their page, watch it. They Red talk table about talk. it, right? Red Table Talk. Thank you. And if you did, do you think Jada was wrong? Do you think she was wrong? Do you think she was wrong? No. Why? I don't think she was wrong because they were separated. And they both communicated to the point to where they knew where they were at in their lives. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think it was wrong because they both knew. It wasn't like she kept it from him. And Will Smith was dating too. Mm -hmm. He was with multiple women. So, even though it looks like it hurt him, he still was doing his own shit. So, do I think Jada was wrong? No, I don't. So... I'm right there with you. Um, Annalise said Jado is disrespectful as fuck. But this is the thing, okay? So, yes, they were still married, but they were separated. They were separated to the point to where they both said on the show that they literally honestly thought that they were done with each other. Mm -hmm. That's how separated they were. Now, I know, I mean, I don't know personally. I've never been married, but from what I've heard, the divorce, you know, the process is a long process. It and, is. and a lengthy mm-hmm. process and a, a difficult process, especially when you're married and you have all this money and all these assets and all and kids and, you know what I mean? It, so are you expected to not touch anyone and not, you know, you know, because at the same time, Will was doing his own thing. So is Jada supposed to sit there? Will's doing his thing and she's not supposed to do anything herself. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think she was wrong either. I think the only thing is her situation is the only one that came out to, you know, the public because August Alcina thought, well, he needed to sell a fucking album. Honestly, I think is where this came from. Because how Publicity the fuck are you stunk. coming in? Exactly. Publicity how are you stunk. coming in? So this happened, what, they said it was like four, four and a half years yeah. ago. How are you coming out four years later to talk about this and you just happen to have an album that's about to drop a few mm-hmm. days, you know, after? Yep. So, and then some of the stuff that he said wasn't all the truth. So Jada felt like she needed to take it upon herself to be like, you know what? This is brought into the public. So I need to come into the public myself and Which tell they didn't my have side to do. and explain. And no, they didn't have to do. But I, I personally know what it feels like to be like, you know what? This is so public and you're involved in it. Let me get my side out too in the public so y'all know where I stand as well. So I, I definitely get where she was coming from. Um, I can't say that she was in the wrong though because they were separated. They both openly said that they were done with each other mm-hmm. at that time. And Will Smith even said it. Yes. I was done with your ass. And he was doing his thing and too. It just thing. wasn't yeah. brought out to light. Nope, because it wasn't. Nobody, like August just, he pulled a bitch move. And I love August Alcina. He's fine as fuck. He has good music. He has good music. He has good some good music, but that was a bitch move on his part. Now our producer Steven thinks that Jada was wrong, and the reason why he thinks that Not she was <laughs> well, they're both wrong. He's correcting me right now. He's like, wait, wait, both. <laughs> but his thing is that he looks at the marriage part. So even if you're separated, he thinks uh, that because you're married. And you made those vows. Mm-hmm. You do not cross the boundary of being with someone else if you're still legally married. Even though they had an agreement, which I understand. I understand that perfectly. Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. If you're married, even if you're separated, it's wrong to do that. But, and there should be no but. But there is a but. They were aware of their situation yeah there was a long time that they were talking or people were saying you know they have an open relationship i I think how true that is i don't know i think it's it's more it's funny to me because i think when will smith heard her say she made him feel good 
that I that see was like where Will was hurt because you can tell yeah, Will you on can his tell, face you can tell he was hurt like, you can like tell he felt she, some type of way that that was like the scene of Halle Berry and Billy Bob Thornton make me feel good and I feel like she didn't <laughs> have to do all of that that yeah, was she, like she, she was like I wanted to feel so, so I wanted to feel good I haven't felt good in you know, so yeah. long it's like did you have to put that in there like uh, shit she, she rubbed it in <laughs> She did. You could see him looking at her like... His face was just like turning into Chris Brown. <laughs> I saw that meme. I'm just joking, There's people. So it's a joke. It's right a joke. Now. There is a lot of memes. But it's so crazy. So the word... Entanglement. Now, is people going to start using that? Is that the word for 2020? Is that the new relationship status? Apparently. Is that the new relationship status? That was my relationship status a few <laughs> days ago when I saw that. I was like, an, an entanglement. Dude, I don't know. I had never heard that word be used in my life. I was confused too. When she when she first said it, and then she continued the conversation, and Will kind of had her back up and be like, "Hold on, what?" I was glad he had her back up and define what that was supposed to mean because I was a little confused myself. Because I I've, I don't know. So we're gonna read some of the some of the questions and or, uh, comments. And Christina has a good point. What I have a problem with is the fact that it was her kid's friend. How could you? How are you gonna bang your child's friend? But was it really their kids' friend? That's I saw how, something that's else where it said no, that how, she introduced him. No, no, to that's how that's kids. how she got that's how she got introduced. Was from uh, what's uh, Will Smith's son's name? Willow and Jaden. Jaden, Jaden. Really? Knew. Yep. And introduced him to the family. Now I did see someone well, say that Jada was wrong because she was um, she was uh, uh, what's that word? Oh my gosh, I'm going blank. She was. Something with a child. He's 25 years old. He's no child. I'm sorry. But he's not a child. 25 yeah, years old. Yeah, she didn't have an affair like, with a like, child. Like, that's not a child. Do you think about, how do you think Jaden feels about that? Knowing that he introduced that he, his friend bangs, you know. I don't know. That, like, that's something that to is. That is something to think about. But you know what? It, it, it's, it's a crazy situation. There's a lot of memes. Are you guys... Oh, like, what are y'all thoughts? Is was Jada really wrong in this situation, or it is what it is kind of situation? Um, Priscilla said, "We personally don't know what happened. I don't think she was wrong. We don't really know how they are, and it's true. It's like we can sit here and have this conversation on what we think, but at the end of the day, we don't really know the truth because they're not our fucking homies. We're just going based off of what the media mm-hmm. is and the media and the red table talk show and stuff like that." Um, and Elise did say, I think she lied to Will about how serious it was with August and how stuff was going with Will. That's where I think she's wrong. That's why August said something. So she probably downplayed the situation to Will yeah. as far as it comes to what she had going on with August. Now to the point to where he was saying like he was in love and all that shit, Jada didn't even really mention any of no. that in her she interview like, as to how she felt. She was talking about her you helping know, him helping him he's broken trying to help him heal at the same time as trying to help herself heal and trying to fix him and you know made her feel you know some type of way i don't know dude it's just it's it's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of shit it is <clears throat> We don't know what kind of person Will Smith really is. How do we know he hasn't always cheated on her or been wrong to her? And that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sure they both did the same. They both do were you doing think, their own thing. Viewers, do you think that that cheating is more acceptable nowadays? Do you? Do you think cheating is more common? Yeah, acceptable or common? Those are two different things. Acceptable. Because how many times... Fuck t- no, it's not acceptable. I know it's not acceptable, but how many times do you know someone that's been cheated and they still accept the person... After the fact. Um, I have seen that before. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, to each their own. I think that's, you know, a case-by-case situation, and that's their own personal, you know, especially if you've been with somebody for so long, and that's where you're comfortable, and then something happens. Um, does it hurt more for the men if you get cheated by your woman, or does it hurt more for the woman if you get cheated by your man? You know, one thing I hate, too, is a double standard. I know, right? It's because I feel like a lot of guys, because I saw some of these memes coming up as well pertaining Mm -hmm. to Will, and it's like, you know, he cheated on her how many times, but the minute, the one time she cheated on him, his face was the look on Will's face. Yeah. And it's like, well, I don't play this. That's one thing I hate is double standard shit. We're we're definitely having another relationship conversation. (laughs) We're having another relationship episode and talking about that. But I think that that's part of it as well as... um, 
in a lot of situations you see that where guys, you know, they'll be out here talking to other females. They'll be out here doing this and this and this. But the the minute the female does it, because I've been in this situation, the minute the female does it, oh, it's an issue. Like, she a hoe. The fuck? You she been slut. Doing this the entire time. She and a it's, hoe. I did this once and. And if no. a man does it, he's he's a pimp. No, fuck that. <laughs> but no. that is going to be another topic, mm-hmm. another uh, relationship. Yeah, we can get a whole another conversation yep, about that. that. It, it's just it's just crazy to see how people cope with cheating and, and what their definition of cheating is. Mm-hmm. You know, because nowadays people play a, play along a line where they stretch what cheating really is. Mm-hmm. So that is another uh, thing that we'll yeah, talk about later on. For sure. Um, shout out to Val watching. She did say they should have been divorced completely before dating other people out of respect. And I know that was Steven's, I know that was Steven's, um, uh, argument Biggest as well thing, the other yes. day when we were talking about. So, and, and I get it. I get both ways, but you know, I mean, if he was doing his thing, she was doing her thing. You can't really be mad at either one of them because they were both at fault. So it's, it's to each his own. It depends on the situation. And Richard said it best, whole verse player. <laughs> that is true but again continue to like comment and share your names are getting entered into the drawing we are giving away a hundred dollars tonight a hundred dollars tonight who's going to win richard i'm gonna put your name in twice just for commenting that i like that that was funny <laughs> laura said what do y'all think about will saying i'm gonna get you back he already got because he did yeah he did say that i'm gonna get he you back and back. then she was like you already have and he was like you know you maybe you're right Maybe, maybe, maybe so he. What? <laughs> may, maybe he said it in in a joking way, like like doing something to her to make fun of her or something. Like that. I don't think, I I don't think they're gonna go backwards. I I think that they're in a good place right now from from what we've seen. But who knows? We don't really know their their them at all personally. So time would tell. I do know there's a lot of things happening uh, with the news right now. Especially one of the topics that people were talking about, um, which hopefully we have a little bit of time to mention, is the incident with the Michigan woman. So you're going to have to school me on it because I was a little confused. I didn't see the video. I was reading the article that you sent to me, though. Yeah, yeah. So so a married couple went to go get some food. And mm-hmm. they when she was... a uh, leaving the restaurant another a teenager came in and they accidentally bumped mm-hmm. so she puts the food in the car she looks back to see like did i really do something did i not the teenager was mad they had their argument the teenager starts filming the mom starts yelling at her and they made it seem like it was a racist thing, black versus white. And it's sad to see our country divide in that unity. It really is because now mm-hmm. it seems like so many people are afraid to have a little argument or, you know, incident. And then it gets escalated to, well, it's based on our skin colors. And you can argue with people, but you could talk right too as well Mm -hmm. i think they both were wrong in their situation but i don't think that if you you have to watch it all and and i wonder if everyone watched it because i really want to know what people's uh, opinions on this is is that it got so escalated to where she gets in the car her husband gets her into the car and the husband's like you know why are you like gets mad the the lady in the car She's telling her, like, we're not racist, you know? Like, we're sorry if you ever experienced that, whatever. They try to back up. The mother decides to hit the car while they, they're backing up. The woman gets out of her car and has a gun and says, y'all, let us leave. So, in a sense, is like she feels like she was threatened because there was more of them, more people around them. And it, it, I was reading comments. People were saying she wasn't in the wrong. They're like, no, she tried to leave. They try to keep her from it. And there were so many people commenting like, she's not in the wrong. They got arrested. The husband uh, got fired from his job. Wow. Yeah. And, and it ruined. For her pulling out the gun? Yeah. Yep. And, and, and it was all in self-defense. And she actually did it in the sense to what you had. That's why I'm saying you have to watch it. She did it in, in, in a calm way. 
to where she knew what she was doing. You could tell she knew how to handle a gun. Mm -hmm. And they try to leave. And I think that, that, uh, I think that it's just, it's sad to see things like this happen because we really need to, to really talk through things and, and, and not make it a white and black thing and really come together. Unity has to happen. Yeah. And it's just sad to see things like this. Yeah, it's, uh, and I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, so, unfortunately, we got to deal with that as well as this virus going on, as well as everything else going on in the world. It's uh, very unfortunate, but that's the reality of what we're living in right now. Um, people are so defensive. Neither one of them tried to be like, time out, pause. Um, let me see. We're so divided. It's sad. Yes, it is. This virus got everyone acting a fool. Yes, it does. Uh, everyone is on edge, ready to snap. It's sad. I have a question. Wasn't Will <coughs> mention he was involved with Espine? Yes, his name was on the list with uh, Jeffrey Espine. Um, with who? Espine. Eps Eps Epstein? No, Ep Epstein. Epstein. Sorry, Epstein. <laughs> like Epstein. Who? His name was on the list, I think, if I'm not mistaken, too, as well. David, your name's on the, uh, we just wrote your name on here. David, just to uh, tell you that. Uh, let's see, who else? Gigi, your name's on in there too as well. Daniel, your name. Deborah, your name. Michelle, your name. Paula, your name's in there. Christina, your name's in there. Everyone that's commenting, your name is into the drawing. Yes, indeed. It's because this government is so bent over backwards. And Richard said, life is hard nowadays. Yes, it definitely is. It is a tough one. 2020 sucks, and there's no fucking fiesta. No fiesta this year. It canceled. Dude. I think it's a Malaluna's smart thing. Maluna's canceled. Maluna's canceled. Everything's fucking canceled. I, 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 I'm, I haven't made the announcement yet officially, but the senior prom... Um, it's not gonna ham not gonna happen. It, it's 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 hard. It's really yeah. hard. It, it, even my San Antonio brunch festival in September, we don't think it's gonna happen either. I don't uh, think anything fun all, is gonna all, happen. All, all, this all year. these all, all these events are gonna fun. be is gonna be uh, um, rescheduled for next year. Yeah, but it, it, in a sense, where do you stand? Do you think that we should shut down, or do you think we should still continue to stay open? And parents, are you going to allow your kids to go to school? Yeah, that was my next topic I wanted to bring up is the whole school situation because I'm seeing a lot of... Parents are not wanting to take their kids to school. I'm confused because, and it, viewers, if y'all know, because I'm confused because some, sometimes I feel like I'm seeing that they have like a choice of doing online learning or going back to school. And then sometimes I feel like I'm seeing that they ha are they are going back to school. So I'm a little confused. Like, do they have a choice? Is there an option, or is it no? Like, they're going back to school. Can somebody, or maybe it depends on the school district, or so I'm not sure. The governor, or even the president, um, is saying that schools will be remain open. So it, it's really, I think this uh, uh, superintendent, he was, uh, he did an interview and was telling everyone that the schools are going to remain open, but it's at the, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I heard this wrong, but it was at the discretion of the parents if they want to have the the students in, in school go in online. school or online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's but the I thing thought, is, is that sure. is that these these students they're not gonna do online. They're not. And they had enough trouble with and, it. Yeah, right this now. Past and, year. and and I can't see a thirteen year old, eleven year old, a, f a six year old wearing a mask all day long. I don't see that happening. Mm -mm. No. And there's studies now that showing that that you that there's studies now showing that there's a, a problem with wearing a mask. So dude, I, I'm so over this. It's, We're it's, supposed to wear a mask. We're not supposed to wear a mask. So, we wear yeah. a mask it, it, inside. It's, it's so crazy outside. to see. Wear a there, mask you, in your car. Don't have the AC on at home. <laughs> what? Did you see that shit too? It's like, no, don't I have haven't the seen AC that one. On at home to it's gonna blow the disease to each other. Like I don't know. It's just so much shit that doesn't. It's so much contradicting information. I'm. Fucking, it is. It, it, I'm it, over. It is sad because we don't know really the entirety of what's going on. Mm. You have doctors that are saying one thing. You have other doctors that are saying other things. You in one of those. I really believe that. In my in my opinion, I think we should stay open. 
I think I think we should stay open because of the fact that we've already experienced the shutdown or the quarantine, and it it affected a lot of people, and it's affecting a lot of people right now. You know, especially because that bar, extra six hundred dollars. The the bars the, the the bars industry they made a lawsuit against the governor. And they're trying to fight back to open up the bars, but they feel like they were getting picked on. And I can see both sides. I can see both uh, views on, on why the bars are shut down, and I can see why you know the bars should be open too. But I think it's one of those things is that we as human beings need to understand what what are we're, we have to be accountable for ourselves. Mm. If you have symptoms, if you feel bad, if you know someone that has symptoms then why not just say, hey, you know what? I think you should just relax, stay home. I'm going to stay home. Like, do the right thing. Don't be a rebel and trying to go out there and, mm-hmm. and pretend like you're not you're okay when you're not. No, I, I, I definitely feel you. There's a, a lot of comments coming in about the school situation. Um, yeah, read them, read them. David Let's said, there are options for online classes or to go back. Um, Priscilla said, my son will not go to school. Imagine the TEA is working from school until next year but expect our teachers i think she meant from home the tea is working from home until next year but expect our teachers and children to go back um richard said the choice for my niece and nephew is full-time online or full-time at school okay um we have nine people in my household and my mom is over 65 and my grandma has severe alzheimer's i'm not going to send my kids and risk my mother's and grandmother's health i feel that prayers to them lord i hope uh i hope they they get better um, let me see here. No school in California. Shout out to Deborah for watching from Cali. Appreciate you, girl. Shutdown won't do justice. Once places reopen again, then boom, COVID cases go up. And but that's the thing is like the bars have been closed this whole time. Like the bars have been closed for a while now and the cases are going up still. So like you can't really like that was one thing that I hated was there was a lot of, um, blame putting putting put on the bars being open and that's why covid but it's like like this this spike happened but the bars have been closed for what at least a month now i i, feel I, like, I, again? I, I think if i'm not at mistaken least a good month now and there's still a spike every single day so it's not just the bars i mean well you, you know what it, it i'm gonna give a shout out to ken's five because they posted something and they actually posted something on a positive note about the COVID-19. They actually shared um, the death rates were decreased and the recovery rates that were happening. And it's not to take away from the COVID-19. We know that it's a virus. We know that it has affected a lot of people and, and people have passed away. But it's good to also know some positivity from it like people mm-hmm. are recovering and the death rates have decreased mm-hmm. and stuff like that and, and and of course you have to do your fact uh, fact checks so go to the cdc uh website and stuff like that and make sure that you you research before you posting anything out there but it's good to see some light you know during this whole darkness of yeah. of fear and i think that's what happens is that sometimes the the media uh will make things into fear Mm -hmm. to where people then start panicking and 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 not understanding what they need to do yeah and it makes it worse it really does and i could go on and on with it but i really do these are facts because i mean i know a lot of people that have gotten it and that have recovered from it so there definitely has a high recovery rate but that's not going to be for everybody and that's the thing is that i'm seeing as well as there's a lot of people that i know especially their older family members even some people that don't have underlying health conditions that are passing away from it so you just never know everyone's different um christina had a really good question she said my question is is the whole school going to quarantine if someone becomes positive yes they are so they did mention that too as well yes they did they mentioned that if a student uh, tested positive, then the whole school will quarantine. <clears throat> so, yes. Angie said, I think we should have a city shut down to bring down the numbers. So many death posts on Facebook. It's so sad. Parents should have an option on sending the kids to school. And and I, I understand where she's coming from. And I honestly think that we are headed towards stuff being shut down again uh, more than it already is. The only thing that it it sucks is like seeing the people that are struggling with they're not for one they're not able to find a job right now, 
Um, you know, they got bills to pay, they got kids to take care of. So it sucks to see both sides where I understand you want to shut down to keep everyone safe, but I also see how it's affecting people's jobs or livelihoods. I see that. And it's just, it sucks, dude. I see that. And I also will, will say that I do know that there are a lot of places that are still hiring, uh, drivers. If you, if you have a good driver license, there's like, I order pizza every Sunday and Domino's is always hiring drivers. So... I think that people, you can't be picky at this moment. Take your pride away. Some, you know, take your pride away if you if you're a prideful person and say, hey, you know what, I don't want to go do this. Just just do it, just to make means. You know, <coughs> don't don't be pride and don't have your pride hold you back from uh, surviving uh, what we're going through. And you know, with this, I think someone said something about the election. This is it can be that too as well. All the election. You know, it is an election year to where this virus can stretch out all the way into <laughs> November. You know, who knows? But I saw that when it first came out. Sorry, I'm like choking on alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Um, I saw that when it first came out. And they were saying that it was a hoax for the election, but like it's obviously not a hoax. Like People are actually dying from it. So, Well, I think that the, with some of the people that, that believe that this is a hoax is because of the fact that you're having studies to where when people have COVID-19, and this is what I'm repeating, I'm not saying this is coming from me, is that if someone they test has symptoms of COVID-19, but they have other symptoms, other illnesses, mm -hmm. they're treating the other illnesses, not the COVID-19 right away because there's no cure, there's no answers. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to, to work on the other symptoms that they have and the other illnesses that they have. And based on... The studies, if someone passes away from a secondary illness, they still count it as COVID-19. So it, it, I understand to a certain degree, again, I'm not taking away from the deaths of people that have passed away with COVID-19. I'm not. I also, you know, I've said this on, on the previous show is that we have to be more accountable about our immune system, you know, eating healthier exercising getting sunlight and taking you know uh, uh measurements of vitamins and supplements and and really you know trying to live a healthy lifestyle i think that really works so but again we don't know what works and what doesn't really work there's so many theories on there we could go on and on and on mm -hmm. i know comments can come in and in and in about it comments. so <clears throat> it, it keep on sharing right now i'm going to while nat boogie's gonna read some comments and talk to you guys i'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel this is for a hundred dollars for tonight you have to tune in right now if you are not watching and your name is called we will go to the next person so cross those fingers, drum the table or wherever you're at. Continue, <laughs> drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. And make sure to tune in. Don't go away. And if someone does get their name called out and they're not here and you know them, tag them. If you don't, then don't tag them. It doesn't matter. No, because they need to be watching. They're supposed to be here to fucking win, right? Yep. That's yep. what we said. So we got to be here to win. Um, Daniel said, wear a mask. Please be courteous. So even if it's not just for you... I think for the people around you, be courteous and wear a mask because you never know what that person next to you is going through. Um, a lot of comments about going back to school. Um, I do like Val really quick. She did say, I think the kids should be allowed to go back to school on a different kind of schedule, like three days for half the school and three days for the other half of the students. That's rotating it. Okay. These kids are going in depression, and I swear, because um, they miss their friends in the days of growing up and learning to grow. So I do see that, too, where a lot of parents are dealing with their kids are they're just going crazy at home. Like they don't have their friends with the energy that they have to, you know, to entertain them and to keep them occupied. And that's another thing too, is these parents that are working from home or even parents that aren't working from home, what, how are they supposed to handle their kids not in school? So I see like, there's so many different sides to see when it comes to that type of situation. It's just, it's, it's fucking tough. So I will say I'm glad I don't have kids right now because I would be going crazy if it I had a kid. It is tough because you don't know. You, right now. We have three, you know, <clears throat> at our home, and and one is a middle schooler, and we don't know. Like, like, do you want to put your kids in school and and, and 
risk it or do you not? And it's one of those things is that you have to go through it to understand a little bit more. But I, I, I still am a big believer that we should stay open just because of the fact that I think that we can fight this. But I also think that from a long time ago, and you're a witness and everyone else that has been watching since day one, I said this once we uh, once the whole uh, pandemic happened, I said that our country should have shut down a long time ago. The whole entire country should have shut down for four weeks, and we wouldn't probably have been in this mess. But it is what it is. The name that was drawn out right now is Joey M. Joey M. M. If you're watching, it is right now 11:44. You have until 11:46 to claim. So Joey M. And I'm scrolling through the comments because I didn't write his full name, but there was only one Joey that I saw, and his last a name started with the M. Joey M. You have until 11:46 to claim. If you do not claim the prize. Then we will go into the next drawing until someone's name is claimed. So again, you have until 11.46. It is 11.44. Again, thank you for all the viewers for tuning in. This is episode number 75. We've had some really great topics that we're yeah. discussing from Freddie Garza to Vanessa to to uh, Will Smith and to the mask <laughs> and, and to the opening of the country to the schools. There's a lot of comments still coming in about it, too. Yes, and we didn't even touch, based on the Washington Redskins, uh, they 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 changed their touch, names. I want to know what they're going to change it to. Yeah, I want to know, too. I think I want to have that conversation. do y'all agree with all these name changes? Do y'all agree with it? Do you think that after all these years of, of a brand or company that has been named for X amount of years, do you think it's necessary right now at this point to change? Or do you think that you look pass over it and say, hey, you know what? That is part of our culture, and 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 and, and mm -mm. I think it's necessary. It's for necessary some of them to change, change some yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, like the wash, like the Redskins. Yeah, I feel like that's. So I mean, I I I'm, I don't know, you know, but it sounds like it's definitely derogatory. Like it's not something, you know, yeah. that they want to be called, you know, as far as Native Americans and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, I think it's definitely necessary for that one. I did see something else too about the Longhorns, um, the Texas Longhorns UT in Austin that they're Are they changing change their, their names? field. Something about what their stadium was called. I don't remember what it was called, but oh, I did wow. see something about them talking about that too. Congratulations, so. Joey. He is here. He is he won a hundred dollars tonight. Joey, congratulations! Yes! A hundred dollars. I'm gonna tax you off of that. So just to let you know. Not just playing. <laughs> <laughs> not just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh congratulations, nice, Joey. Congrats. Yes, we're excited hey, for Ron, that. He left. He, he left. left. <laughs> <laughs> God, we have so many comments tonight. Um, really quick, I do want to shout out to Anthony A. I did see that he tuned in a little while ago. So shout out to Anthony A. What's up, dude? Hope you good. There's a... As always, I want to let you know that if you have a business, if you have a product, if you have food, if you have an apparel, if you want a shout out, if you want to be a special guest, if you want to sponsor our Late Nights with All Access, all you have to do is call or text us 210-677-5289 or inbox message us and we'll be glad to discuss our pricing for you to go ahead and come on the show. Now we also do trades, meaning that if you want us to wear a clothing, then you just have to share our posts, our, our flyers and tune in and, and invite your friends. So we do have trades too as well to help small business owners out there. If you want to provide some food products, we'll display them here like we did tonight and we'll eat them, give you a review. And, you know, again, it's just a trade. So we do work with everyone. Just want to give y'all heads up on that. So if you know someone that has a local business and they're hurting right now, because we do know that this is a hard time mm -hmm. for businesses. And there's a lot of businesses that are shutting down. It's unfortunate. But this is what we're here for is to help and support our local businesses and the owners out there and continue to try to stay um, stay in business. So, yes. Uh-oh, people are calling out your winner that you picked there. Why? I don't know. I'm going to let you go into that one. Let's see. <clears throat> he's there, right? Yeah, he said He said here. he didn't share. He didn't share? So I don't know. I, I can't tell. That. I can't tell if he shared or not. But not right now. That was part of it, so he needed to share for sure. He did need to share. Um, can our producer say... verify that real quick? Can you verify 
If he did share, just <laughs> they're saying redraw. Redraw. No, if he didn't <laughs> share, then yeah. But I, I, from what I see, I think he did share. So, because it's also based on the settings. A lot of times, if you're not friends with someone what? and they share, uh, if you can't, you, you won't be able to see if they did or not. Uh, Laura, uh, when are y'all having Beyond Flavor on? Her cheesecakes are amazing, especially the Snickers cheesecake. I want some. I love. Snickers and I love cheesecakes, so I really want to try some Snickers cheesecakes. So I'm not sure who Beyond Flavor is. Yeah, Beyond is. Flavor you know is my neighbor. Is? Yes, it's my oh, neighbor okay. Tanya. So Tanya, shout out to Tanya, uh, Beyond Flavor. Why she, don't we have? Why she, we yeah, some? she's going to be a special guest, and she's going to okay, bring good. in. She's the one that made the cheesecake uh, fireball. That but fireball cheesecake? Try. No, no, but you that I, I shared. The, remember? Yeah, but I, I didn't. Try yeah, so it, like some of that. Too. It's amazing. Thanks, Laura, for mentioning it. And um, just to give y'all a quick rundown, Beyond Flavor, I go to their Facebook, go to their Instagram. She makes these delicious desserts, and she's my neighbor, and she gives me all these desserts to try and eat, and we love them. They're really good. So she is going to be a special guest on the show. We're just trying to pick out which episode and. It's I need gonna some be good. Cheesecake you're gonna, you're gonna get cheesecake. it. You're going to get Thank it. Thank you. I promise you that Ooh, you will. That sounds amazing. Uh, shout out to Enrico. He said Voyage Insurance Group next sponsorship, and then also Richard said hashtag Vlog Gang wants to sponsor. Uh, shout out to Richard. He did reach out to me to uh, do an episode of uh, Vlog Gang. I guess is what it's called um, with him. So I'll probably uh, hop on that. And I think it's something he knew he just started. So I'll probably do a little episode with him and see what that's about. Um, let me see here. And it looks like he did share it. So. So congratulations to Joey. I just checked right now. He did? And he did, yes. Okay, he did so share congratulations, it, So congratulations to Joey. <laughs> Everyone's on top of that. They're like, I like, want nah, that $100. Up. Now, we do like giving uh, things away, so make sure to tune in every Monday night at 1030. If you have a restaurant and you want to go ahead and donate a gift card, or if you have a business and you want to donate the gift card, this is a really great way to build some organic followers and organic likes. So all you have to do is just, again, inbox message us and talk to us. If you have a business and you want some real good followers, that people that, that uh, to your business, one of the best ways is to do something organically by giving away something. As we did right now, we had a really good turnout. We love everyone's support, and we don't mind doing these giveaways. Always tune in because you never know when we're going to give away $100. We may give away $200. We may even give away $1,000. So... It's always good just to tune in and watch. Mm -hmm. And then Laura, she said, question. Are y'all going to have late nights merch? I'll buy a shirt. This is something I've been telling him we need, actually, is some late nights, uh, some merch, some T-shirts to wear, some little some, some masks. Yeah, some masks. we do have the mask. Some. Uh, we do have late nights with all access mask uh, for, uh, as merch. And then we will get some T-shirts. We will get some um, apparel. It is in the works. It is something that Nat Boogie had mentioned uh, from the get-go and the whole entire team. And I'm glad that you uh, people are asking about it. That is amazing. Yep. And then one more thing from David, which it should definitely be another topic we should talk about sometime. Next subject should be legalizing cannabis. Yes. Yes, it should. And David, you can you could go yes, to we'll – we've it. had two episodes uh, within the – a year and a half with uh, CBD owners. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Angela. She was our first guest. She owned a CBD company here in town. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she moved to Dallas or moving to Dallas. Oh, is she? So, yes. And then our other CBD owner was John Long with Imperigo. So. <laughs> Christina, hurry up with the shirts and booty shirts already. <laughs> we're gonna make them. We're, we're gonna we're gonna make all the things for y'all guys. The booty shorts we appreciate on the, show, the love. Guys. If you guys don't mind, please go to our page, right, and write a review. If you write a review, we're gonna do another giveaway. I don't know what the giveaway was going to be at the top of my head right now, but we will give a we will do another giveaway for next episode for episode number seventy six. But please write a review. And share your thoughts and share our page to your friends because this is every Monday night we're coming to you live. Again, shout out to Adrian Martinez, our sponsor, for allowing us to use his beautiful venue inside a smoke barbecue restaurant inside Ember Room. And they have three different uh, rooms in, in the venue. And if you haven't been to Smoke Barbecue, you have to try it. They have really delicious food and they give good hospitality. So... 
What else do we have? A lot. David wants to come on the show. Zesk asked if I'm ready for a tattoo. I am so ready for some ink. I need to get I want a tattoo. Sleeved up. I actually had an appointment booked on Saturday to get my um, arm tatted, but she, um, unfortunately, someone had in her family had caught COVID, and she started Ooh. feeling some symptoms, so we had to reschedule just so she could make sure she was okay. But definitely ready to get tatted. I need to get a sleeve, so we're going to get you your first tattoo. What do you so have going on this weekend? Life nothing i have nothing zero set in stone. plans this weekend um nada yeah same here just working that's it and staying safe yeah pretty uh, much social media social media on personal you can go ahead and follow me on instagram official mikeanthony.torres when it comes to the business all access ma and for Late Nights with All Axes, we have our Facebook page. We have our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. That is where our producer is trying his best to upload every single episode from day one, which I think there's seven up there already. And our website, www.latenightstv.com, as well as, I'm trying to think what else with the social media platforms. And that should be it for there, yeah. Oh my God, Val said Red Hook. Yes, girl, you need to get some Red Hook. I had some Red Hook the other day, and it was, oh, that was yesterday. I had some Red Hook yesterday, and it was amazing. Some crabs, some shrimp. Mm, sorry. Um, yeah, shout out to Alexis once again. Isabella's Sweet Treats is the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So make sure to reach out to her because these chocolate-covered strawberries are amazing, and she can make them any flavor that you want because we have a variety out here and they are all good and they're very fresh. Mm. So make sure you mm. reach out to her if you want to get some strawberries order for a special somebody or for me. And uh, my Facebook is Natalie Charlene. My Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter is Nat Boogie with no E. So make sure to holler at me. Like he said, if you have some merch or if you have your, your own brand, um, your own service, something that you want to promote on the show, please reach out to us. Let us know so we can either wear it, we can eat it, we can and talk about it whatever it is that you want um and thank you once again so much guys everybody that tunes in i feel like we have a lot more viewers these days actually it seems <laughs> like we've been having a crazy amount of viewers these days and and i want to thank all of y'all for um continuing to view in to share to like to tell your friends about the show for interacting and talking to us throughout the show there's so many comments i couldn't even get through them all today, i know I would, so and don't think that we're, you guys. we're not trying to get to your comments we do want to get to everyone's comments it's really hard Yes, we only have so much time that we could be here. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you once again, everybody. It is Late Night with All Access with Mike Anthony and myself. You can catch us every Monday night at 10.30 p.m.-ish on the Late Nights with All Access Facebook page. And thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Y'all, please be safe out there. Wear your masks. Wash your hands. Have a good night. Peace.